Okay, today is the beginning of a journey with Journey. This is a 12-day boot camp. Who's here? She's got to be balanced out. So we, I have to teach you how to react to a dog's behavior. So the boot camp, what we're going to do for the next 12 days is react to a dog's behavior and channel it. Channel her behavior. So we're just starting. I'm getting an idea of her temperament. I always have a leash on the dog. Always. Good girl, Journey girl. So we have to teach her. She can never jump. She can't, her four feet have to be on the ground. We're gonna balance her energy. We're gonna go inside and we're gonna adjust her with a new collar. This is just a piece of rope I have on her. And you can see she's a lovely dog. Lovely, lovely. But she's gotta understand life in our world. One finger driving. Life in our world means this is my Santa Claus, not Journey Santa Claus. I can throw it, I correct her. This is the beginning, watch. This is my dying animal, not her. Look, holding my coffee, I'm not putting energy. I saw the before videos, it's insanity. We can't allow this eight month old dog to ruin our lives. She's got a lot to offer, he. He's a wonderful dog, but he has to understand his place in the pack. It's not, oh, whoop, I'm spilling hot coffee on him. Maybe that's a trick. Look, it's my, our world. Our world, he lives in it. She, sorry, she, he, good girl. And if I was such a mean man, I don't think he, she'd be running towards me. Good girl, baby. We're going to finish up inside. Okay, so we're beginning our journey with Journey. As I said, we had her out on the field. We just got to understand her energy. I saw the before videos, this is insanity. And it's a dog, a hyper dog, very loving, friendly. She doesn't have an aggressive bone in her body, but she has to, this energy has to be channeled. So the first thing we do is we put, we have to be able to control behavior, not by talking to a dog. I talk to you in English. If you speak English, human language, we speak the language. Dog interacts and communicates completely differently. So we have to learn about the dog and learn its triggers and teach it that this is our world. This is my dog, uh, my squeaky toy, and she can't have it right now. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut and then we're gonna fit her with a proper collar. Go ahead. So, go ahead, you're gonna make a peek. This is a nylon collar, it's not a pinch collar, it's not an electric collar. We're gonna slip it over a head. And that's like a necklace, on, it stays on. Then she's gonna attach this leash. It's a six foot nylon leash, and this is it. I'm gonna hold that. I take my little rope off. If she mouths, I'm gonna correct her. So lesson one, lesson one. Thou shall not put tension on the leash. Period, end of story. How do we accomplish that? I have the leash in my hand, I'm relaxed, she thought about getting it. What other distractions do I have? Food. That's it. There's no yelling, there's no screaming. Let's see if I've achieved something there. These are my toys. Am I holding her back? Am I yelling? Stay! Birds. What does all this represent? Dead animals. Or dying. Squeak my squeaky toy. That is a dying animal. So here I am, look, look at me, I'm relaxed. I have control over her. Uh, we're gonna cut and then we're gonna ring the doorbell. Okay, 90% of the problems that come up is at the doorway, the entrance to your territory. But the dog has taken it over as her territory. This is where the problem comes in. So when we have company, what do we do? The door knocks, the, and we go running to the door. Not in my world, look. I'm right here. Now, in your world, you might go, wait a second, I'm coming, grab the dog, hold the dog, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to go to the door in a very relaxed way. I'm correcting bad behavior. Correcting. I'm walking to the door to see who's here. <laughs> this is relaxed. This is not done for food. It's done for leadership. This is natural love. Here's the positive reinforcement. I bite bad behavior, correct bad behavior, and I praise good behavior. Clicker training. Good girl. 
If I got to still, who's banging? There's still somebody at the door. I'm slowing this down. Oh, it's, it's Ashley. It's the professor's here. We open the door. Look. Hi, professor. Uh, uh. IT trip. Get back. Good girl. Good girl. Hi, professor. Good. And this is how we begin our journey. We're going to do this. We're going to stimulate behavior. We're going to trigger behavior. And we're going to love good behavior. Here's my love. Good girl, baby. Here's my love. Good girl. She's mouthing me. I correct her. She cannot mouth me. Mouthing is the precursor of a dog bite. She's not aggressive, but watch what happens when she wants to move me away. So she can't. I just corrected her. She can't put a mouth on anything. I don't like it. I'll correct her. I'm not yelling. I'm not screaming. I'm not electrocuting her, but I'm not allowing her to mouth me. Hand me some treats, please. Here's what I'm going to do. What is this? My food. It's not journey. <laughs> now, if I start pulling away, oh my God, here comes journey. <sighs> She's going to be jumping all over. <laughs> Leave it. Good. <laughs> Am I teasing her? I can't really tease a dog. I'm not abusive. I love the dog. Look. Look how much I love, 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 love. Does she look scared? She can run away. If she doesn't like me, she can go hide in the corner. Now I'm going to put her away. The only place she's going to get a morsel of food for the next 12 days. That means her regular meals and snacks are going to be in her den. She's a denning animal. I'm going to ask her to go place, place. She doesn't want to, I make her, I shut it, and I give her a nice treat. Period. End of story. Whether she likes it or not is irrelevant to me. So this is good. Great day. We're going to do this for the next 10 days, 12 days. We're going to have a top 10 list of behaviors. This is about relaxing and communicating. It's not the dog. It's how you react to the dog's behavior. If you're dramatic, you're screaming and yelling, it's not going to work well. Perfectly fine. Bye. Dog Journey and Boot Camp. A couple of things. Leash and collar is always on. Journey on a scale of 1 to 10 as far as energy level, she's a 10. We need to burn off a little as we have to meet her needs. It's not that it's what the breed of the dog, the sex of the dog, the age of the dog. is. what is the dog doing in the moment? So we have a leash and collar on so that I can control her behavior. That, the leash collar stays on inside, outside. The only time we take it off is when, now I can step on the leash, I'm in control of her. She doesn't own anything. She picked up a stick, she has this. I don't have to reach for her right now. So this is gonna be a learning moment for Journey. I correct bad behavior and I praise good behavior. So I pick up my leash. She found her stick with her nose. Good girl, baby. I'm relaxed, this is important. This is very important. Good girl. Good. Leave it. I say leave it and I correct her. Watch. Uh -uh. She can't chase. So dogs don't own anything. We own everything unless they pay for it. So the first behavior we teach is what her place is in the pack when the pack is moving. I step out my left. Her place is on my left side. When she gets ahead or sniffs, I correct. I turn. I correct. Good girl. So she has to learn this. She doesn't know left from right, but by consistently putting her on the left. Not allowed to sit. Good girl, sit. She sits when I stop. I love, I praise good behavior. She's a handful. She's a handful. But loving, we just have to channel that. The pet owner has to learn. The pet owner has to learn how to channel energy. And enough. Left foot, dog walks. And as we go, we'll teach her other body movement. So it's not about talking, dogs don't talk. There's a lot of love, look at this, this is the love. She can't pull me around. She can't act independently because she's a pack animal. 
This dog more than any, not only because her breed requires this stereotype, this has to be an obedient dog. It can't be jumping, humping, and just going crazy whenever it wants. But this is done with love, not heavy-handed abuse. We don't use pinch collars. We don't use shock collars. In fact, when this dog leaves, when Journey leaves, this is the only collar that should be used for the rest of the dog's life. This is very important. Thank you. Okay, so we're right at the early stages of our training. And once we get out into the real world, there's distraction. So the first thing we need to teach the pet owner is how to hold the leash. It's like holding the reins of a horse. You do it a certain way. We never have tension on the leash. This loops around your right thumb. I don't care if you're left or right-handed. You close your hand, you relax this hand. You take up some slack in your left hand. You don't have to be a behaviorist to see the dog see something, right? I don't have to, this could be the middle of the night, so I have to correct that. So I have to correct it before it happens. I can't talk. That was just a human being driving by in a car. Then when I walk, I walk with my left foot first. That's important. And the pack moves. I can go there. I can go I turn. The dog turns. This is simple. We have to work through a lot of her issues. She's triggered by almost any movement. So what we need to do is relax. No tension on the leash. I stop, dog sits. This is the beginning of a journey. This is the most critical part. The dog, a pack animal cannot pull or lead the pack. Left foot, dog walks. I turn, the dog, screw that doggy. I validate the good behavior with praise. I can go fast, I can go slow. I turn, I walk into the door. I can't have a human conversation. I'm stopping talking, this is good.